So how, how the hell do you even know that this twin flame crap is real? That there's like any truth to this shit? Like, let's look at this logically. You know, who's to say that you can't like go walk out on the street and pick somebody that you're attracted to and be like, oh, you're the one. And, you know, like, get married, uh, you know, they pop out, like, they just start shooting out a couple kids. I don't, I don't really know how it works. They're like missiles or something like that. Doctor, like, has a catcher's mitt, and they just pop right out. I'm a guy. Maybe that's insensitive, but whatever. So then, you know, like, maybe you buy a house. Maybe you, like, actually like each other a little bit. Maybe there's love involved. And then, you know, you, you live out the rest of your life, you know, blissfully, right? Like, how fucking cool is that? You go to a couple soccer games with the kids and... Maybe a t-ball game or something like that. Graduations. Maybe a wedding or something. Oh, well. That seems, you know, that that seems like a good life. That seems like pff, pretty cool, I guess. You know? You, like, had a family. It was fantastically mediocre. You know? You argued a bunch. Maybe you cheated on one another. Maybe you separated. I mean, maybe overall, like, you didn't really give a shit. It wasn't really, like, super fantastic. Like, you know, you look back on your life on your deathbed and you're just like, eh. I'll get them next time. Get them next time around. Maybe it'll be better next time. Like, just like kind of so blah to the whole, to your whole life. Like it was just, it's like almost every day of being forced to eat oatmeal or some shit like that. Like it was just like, nah, whatever. What a bunch of crap. But there was like sprinkled in some all right moments. That was kind of cool. And then, you know, big periods of boring shit, boring shit life. Yeah, I'll get them next time around. That's what will happen. Like, I'm going to totally find... Like, I kind of screwed that up, right? Like, I, I just picked anyone and, like, at random and thought they would be good enough. Like, they'll do. I don't really care. It's better than, better than, like, going through all this, you know, really hard stuff that, like, that, that, being a twin flame, being in a twin flame union requires. So I totally dodged that bullet. Like, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for letting me dodge that bullet. Thank you for letting me dodge a, an entire life full of bliss. Whew. Could you imagine, like, the short amount of time that it takes of you know, healing your blocks and, and, and actually loving yourself in relation to, like, how long your life is. Like, I totally dodged that bullet of having to, having to do all that. Like, I got a whole life's worth of middle-of-the-road crap. But I didn't have to, like, 
exert myself. And I didn't, I did, certainly didn't have to love myself. I just kept choosing, you know, what, whatever the, whatever the most convenient thing for me to do was. Right? That has to be so much better than being with, being with your twin flame and, you know, noticing that, like, you are on some kind of journey, a uh, twin flame journey because of all the synchronicities and the coincidences and, and you could measure all of those things by any relationship that you've ever been in and the pattern that was in that relationship, right? In the beginning, it's cool. Like, there's that passion. There's that fire. There's, a, you know, a getting to know you. There's maybe a connection, most likely not. I mean deep connection. I don't mean like, yeah, we both like fucking Twizzlers. Like that's not a connection. You know, get your head out of your ass. So what I'm saying is that like those patterns of, yeah, this is going great. And then all of a sudden that love fades away. And that is your, you know, average run of the mill random person relationship which is uh, the majority of the people on earth, your parents, your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, you know, maybe there are a couple exceptions in there, but in most cases there isn't, where, you know, speaking from the couples that are, that I see throughout my family or my friends or whatever, that, There is a grace period of maybe enjoying each other. And then it moves into, well, now we have kids. So, you know, the game has changed a little bit. Now we're going to stay together for the kids. We clearly do not see eye to eye. We clearly have many different interests. We clearly don't really love each other anymore. But we have kids. So let's tough it the fuck out. And that's your earth relationship. It's two people that maybe liked each other a little bit. Maybe there was just some attraction in the beginning and it turned into, uh, let's just stay together for the kids because we seriously have nothing in common. Uh, the love faded years and years ago, and that's it. But I don't know anything else, and I'm not about to start over at the ripe age of 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 or whatever, whatever the people's age are, or 30 or 25 or whatever it is. So they just, they just give up on themselves. They give up trying to find happiness. They give up trying to find love, their true love. Right? And with twin flame relationship or union, you know that that love is there for eternity. And why is it there for eternity? Because you are one energy. So in other words... If I were to say, well, I'm going to be with my twin for 20 years and then, oh, I don't know, maybe the love will fade or maybe, you know, we won't get along anymore. Maybe she'll stop being my best friend. Maybe she'll stop loving me. But the caveat to that is that if I, if for some reason I stop loving her, I stop loving myself. That's why twin flames are real. That's why twin flames work. That's why twin flame love lasts in, in, in eternity. Is because you can't stop loving yourself. What would make you choose to stop loving yourself? So in other words, if you make that choice to love yourself 
or ever, they make that same choice. And the love just gets deeper and deeper and deeper and expands and expands and expands forever. And there's no limit to it, how deep it goes, and there's no limit to how much it expands. That's the reason that it is that that you go through all of this healing and that you're going through all of this, what you might call uh, really awful shit on this journey, but that's what it is. It's to have everlasting love. It's not to have fleeting love and then just move from person to person to person or be miserable and stay with the same person for however long or be miserable and person hop or be miserable by yourself or just be miserable in general. That's the reason. That's the reason why you're looking for your twin flame is for everlasting love. And you know that that's the only way to get it. This person, the person that you call your twin, is the only one that could provide that for you. No other person is for you. No other person can provide that for you. That's how it all happens. That's why there's only one. Right? So, uh, a lot of you have uh, deep traumatic wounds. Um, you know, those, those are crucial in coming out because you don't want to live your life with uh, these deep traumas that are really affecting how free you are with, your, with yourself and your relationship to life and people around you. Um, so visit asoneguidance.com, uh, check out Deep Trauma Healing, um, you know, leave a comment down below, uh, check the description box down below for links to my website and, you know, questions, comments, uh, anything else that you might need. And I will see you all next time. Take care.